Hey guys and gals, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel, and yes, you can guess it from the music in the background, we're back with more Fallout New Vegas mod guide. Yeah, I know, it seems strange. And we had a suggestion from a subscriber by the name of Defcon1966, and he wanted me to see wanted to see me do a mod. So I've got it ready for you right now. It's kind of weird to be coming back to New Vegas Modding Guide, but we're here and let's get started. Uh, and what we're going to cover is basically, it's called the FNV 4 Gigabyte Patcher by the infamous mod author and raconteur Roy Batarian and Luthien Anorian. It is mod number 62552. And this is the more advanced spiritual successor to the old 4 Gigabyte New Vegas updated. And basically, if you remember from uh, previous mod guides, this was basically a script, a helper that you put into your New Vegas folder that replaced the executable and you ran it through Nexus Mod Manager, Mod Organizer, or whatever, but it has some, you know, problems. So just consider this old and gone and you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. I'm going to go over what you need to do. You don't even need to do the 4 gigabyte launcher anymore. FNV 4 gigabyte patcher. And, and when you scroll down, you're going to see some of the features. Let's just cover them real fast. No complicated launch options needed. We talked about that. No more 4 gigabyte launcher. Uh, works with Windows Vista, Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. I guess that's a problem for some people. And it is Linux and Wine compatible. It works effortly, effortlessly with ENB, SuiteFX, and Reshade. No driver detection problems because it changes the environment. So you can actually... You know, set it up anywhere. Uh, supports US, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to know that. Automatically loads NVSE if present. Very important to know because it can basically pick it right up and you'll run it and you can go ahead and check it and an NVSE will be run properly. It is 100% compatible with Steam. First time ever, it will now be compatible with Steam Launcher and your default launcher, whether it be uh, Nexus Mod Manager or Mod Organizer. For us, that's of course. Nexus Mod Manager, of course, it is also duck and chicken friendly. Requirements. This is very, very important. You need to get the VC++ Runtime Redistributable x86. Click me to download. And when you click to download, you're going to get an executable and put it on your desktop wherever you do it. And you will need to run this. If you do not have it, you'll need to run it. If you already have it, you'll get a a screen like this when you do double click to install and mine says repair uninstall and close and if you don't have it properly installed before you will now it will ask you to install it it is perfectly safe to do so just install it wherever it wants to install it and let it do its thing you will need to restart your computer after doing it before you can actually use the four gigabyte patcher it is very important it actually is the runtime that makes everything work. So I'm not going to restart it. I'm not going to uninstall and reinstall because of course I'm recording and I don't want to restart my computer in the middle of recording. So I'm just going to close it. And yes, I'm sure I want to cancel. Now, just remember you have to run it. You have to let it install it where it wants. You have to restart your computer before even running the four gigabyte launcher. So I'm just going to say, you've done that. You're smart enough to do this. And I'm just going to throw it away just like that. So back to the mod page. Installation, place the exec in your Fallen New Vegas game folder and run it. You will need to run the patcher in admin mode. If it does not launch correctly, it will patch the game and make a backup. And I'll show you what that does of the original executable. Launch the game normally through your mod manager directly, the default launcher or Steam. Make sure your any files are read only if you launch through Steam or the default launcher. Default launcher, is basically a shortcut you put on your desk that's directly the Fallout New Vegas executable on your desktop if you want to run it, but it will still run NVSE just fine. There's some other things I'll talk about as we go along and some other caveats that uh, Roy wanted me to point out to you in the comments of the mod page, so I will do so. Come over to your file page and you will see FNV 4 gigabyte patcher download that manually there is no installation through your mod manager of choice and we'll go ahead and show you what that is and you're going to get a 7z or winrar 
archive just like that. And don't worry, I've tested this out with both Steam. It works just fine. I'm going to close that down. I wanted you to notice that Steam will work this way. It will work through Nexus Mod Manager, and it will work, work just fine. And But, of course, I'm going to leave New Vegas Mod Organizer up and running just so that's my mod manager of choice. All right. So what you're going to do, you go ahead and open this up, and you'll have the FNV patch version 13. Open that again, again, and you'll have source, which you do not need, and you have the FNV patch.exec, or the Fallout NV patch.exec. Now, where do you put this? Let's show you this. This is my games folder for Fallout New Vegas, and you notice the Fallout New Vegas thing because it actually has Fallout NV.exec. This is the key file that you're looking for. This is your main directory for Fallout New Vegas. Of course, in mind, it is on my G drive, and it's under Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. Now, this is what you're going to do with it. You're going to drag it and drop it in. And now you have the F Fallout New Vegas patch.exec. Simple thing. Now, watch this. It's going to make a backup after we run it. When you run it, you're going to get that short dialog window. Press any key to continue. And it's done. Just like that. I mean, it's just that fast. Now you see we have a Fallout New Vegas underscore backup dot exec. Now what it has done, it has replaced the old one, made it the backup, and created a new one that is now large address aware that will now utilize four gigabytes of RAM. What do you do with it? Well, now it's in here, not really much. We're going to close this down. We're going to open up Mod Organizer, and you don't need to do anything. Because I already have NVSE properly installed, it automatically detected that. I didn't need to do anything about that before setting up Mod Organizer. But we're not going to use that to do this because under this application, you simply run the Fallout New Vegas executable, not the Fallout Launcher, the ex just the executable, and then run it. And you can see we're going to start the game. Okay. Now I have no sound up, so you can't hear all the music in the background because I turned it down because you may be able to hear it. I can't. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open up our console command. Of course, that's the tilde key. That is the key to the left of the one. And we open up our console command. Of course, if you want to double check if NVSE is running, it's get NVSE version. Hit enter. NVSE version 5 NVSE is properly installed so even without running through NVSE even without having to go through the four gigabyte launcher of the old version of the patcher this works perfectly fine I'm gonna close this out I'm just gonna quit yes okay that's it so you don't need to do anything special and it will do the same thing for Steam Nexus mod manager or the executable the new executable, remember, you didn't put that on your desk ahead of time, right? The new executable under Fallout New Vegas, let's open that up, so that it's this one, the Fallout NV executable, and not the backup. If you have one on your desktop before, you will need to change that to Fallout New Vegas, the executable, the one that was created today. For me, it's the 20th of July. So I'm going to close that down again. There's one other thing to remember, and this is the only reason why I have this mod installed, and that is New Vegas Stutter Remover, and this is NVSR4. We're going to open this up, and under the any files, and Roy makes a very good point of this, is that the heap replacement in NVSR is not as efficient as the one he's created. So when you're looking at this and you start scrolling down, I think I'll have to find it here. It is, there it is, B replace heap equals zero. It will come default as disabled. And it was, you know, a heap management issue. And Roy says you don't need to have that at all. Do not implement this because it will overwrite the heap replacement done by Roy. So there you go. Now, just go ahead and, you know, just leave it at zero. I'm going to close that down. 
So really, that's all I've got to tell you on this. It's actually quite a simple thing. Let's talk about reversion. If you want to eliminate the 4 gigabyte patch or for whatever reason, you can either go back in. Is this the right one? No, that's Skyrim. Sorry. Multiple folders. This is New Vegas. You can either delete the old one. I can just run this again later on. And then rename FNV underscore backslash just Backspace that out to falloutnv.exec. If you're not comfortable with doing that, you can go ahead and just delete them both. Yeah, I know. I'm going to delete them. Just watch this. So, delete them both because you're not really sure what you had. Go into your Steam profile into Fallout New Vegas, and I want you to right-click on Fallout New Vegas and go to Properties. Go to your local files and verify integrity of game files. This will take a little bit. Let's let it do its work. Three files failed to validate and will be required. Don't know what it was, but we went ahead and just revalidated it. It could be something else. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you do that, go ahead and just run the launcher again through uh, Fallout New Vegas on the Steam file, and that will regenerate any, any files that may have been taken away. There's updates going on ready to launch. Play game. And play the game. And that will revalidate all of your any files. And call it done. And now it will be right back to where you were. Back to down to two gigabytes. So I'm just going to go ahead and redo it again. That's this one. FNV patcher.exec. Press continue. There we go. Done. So we're back to where we were. And there's no... You don't need to change the executable here um, on Nexus Mod Manager either or anything like that. It's simple. Just run the default launcher. Okay? That's all I got, guys. If you have another mod that you want to see, leave me a message in the comments. I'll leave all the links down below so you can get all these different mods and all the different uh, information as far as this goes. But that's all I got for now. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.